academies. You see, this is this this is an academy here, right? But they're talking about having, um, you know, free schools here, which is not going to cost uh, money. Using old buildings and things for parents to, uh, you know, teach their kids, right? But the problem is, yeah, they're only going to give funding, yeah, to uh, people who are willing or parents who are willing, yeah, um, to sort of cut out things like creationism, yeah. And, um, yeah, in university, St. Andrews, you know, you can study metaphysics and logic, which covers a designer, cosmological, ontological arguments for a creator, for the creator God, right? So, you know, um, if you're going to have universities which are the follow-on from schools, right? Then it should stand to reason that academies, yeah, free schools, you know, all of these people should have a free um, ability to teach creationism and the science. And they shouldn't listen to some stupid reporters who complain, you know, who are socialist or who are um, secular in their agenda, an atheist. You should have nothing to do with them, okay? This is a scientific matter for the Creator God. And the Bible says, right, that God, yeah, yeah, created the heavens and the earth. Now, how do you prove there's a God? Well, you can't see God. The Bible says no man has ever seen God at any time. Yes, but it says the invisible things of God are clearly seen from the things which are made, even God's eternal power. So, if God can be seen in creation, the sun is the right distance from the earth, the moon is the right distance, it affects the tides, there's an order to everything and a design. It seems to me that uh, we have to Look at science, and the science proves there's a God. The fool says in his heart there's no God. People need to realize, yeah, that they should open their eyes and look around them, the design of everything, and um, they'll see a creator God, a designer. You've got a North Star, which is used for guidance and things like that. You've got the um, Southern Cross, the fixed stars, which they never move, always give you guidance all year round. We can set our clocks by looking at the North Star, and uh, we always do. That's how we set Greenwich Mean Time. Everything is set in an order and precise. The salt in the sea. There's not millions of apples as much as blades of the grass. Uh, cats give birth to cats and not to donkeys. Everything's got an order to it. People need to realize that when God made the earth, he made the insects the same time as the plants. Why? Because the insects and the plants, they can't survive without each other for a day in some cases. They can't survive for more than a few weeks. All those species of plants would be dead if they weren't made the same year and the same time. So I could prove and slaughter these atheists with my teachings. And they don't want to know us. They're hiding everything, stopping the kids learning about God. Because why? Because God gives them a conscience. God tells them that they have to work out choices. God tells them they have to choose. Do they love God? Do they reject Him and His standards and His morality? That's what we're up against. And um, it's wickedness in high places, I tell you, everywhere. People need to repent. Except Christ is a God and Saviour. I tell you, the end of the world's coming on us. And we're bringing it fast on ourselves. People, they treasure up for themselves all their material things. And they fors forsake God, they forget God, they neglect their souls. The Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which is in Christ. And people are rejecting Christ, they're rejecting God and uh, despising, you know, the things of God. We need to get back uh, to what God says in the Bible.
and uh, his word is a final authority on all matters of faith and practice and um, you know we need to get back with the homeschooling we'll always have freedom to preach to our kids the gospel and that's another thing sex education is encouraging sin and wickedness it's not um, discouraging it at all children have got no interest in these wicked things by nature when they're young and they're promoting all this filth the Bible says to flee fornication and uh, adulterers are outside God's kingdom and fornicators except they repent of their sins and turn away from them and and seek after Christ and accept him as their God and Saviour uh, they've got no hope 